All right, welcome back. This is the parts video for Silver Burst Stratocaster number three. And I went a little bit overboard on this one. So, and I made some decisions on this where, you know, you've already jumped out of the plane, right? You're headed towards the ground. You might as well light yourself on fire and give everybody a good show on your way down because there's no stopping, okay? Can't turn around. And it started with this neck right here. I don't know how you guys feel about a guitar whether you know it's is it the body is it the pickups is it the setup is it the neck but I'm a neck person I feel like the neck has to be right or you'll always be kind of unhappy with the guitar so I don't understand you know you can change pickups and things but necks are they're one of a kind and uh, they're they're once you get a good one it's uh, it's it makes all the difference in the world to me so for this project, um, we are going to go with, this is a 2004, absolutely stunning Fender Select, genuine Fender Select Stratocaster neck. Uh, it has, comes with, these are factory, it's got the silver or more of a grayish color Fender locking tuner. And uh, I know the number, it starts with the D, the serial number, which usually means deluxe which it is a deluxe, but when you type the serial number in, this is a select neck. And I think it, it gains that that level because of the painted headstock and then this LSR roller nut that's put in here. Nice thick slab of rosewood, beautiful maple neck, and uh, it's near flawless. Uh, there's a small dip, like there's a dent or something right here that got pulled out, but you can barely feel it when you run your finger this way. But when you're coming around on this side, you don't feel it really at all. So it's not going to mess with the play, or it doesn't even, it, it's hardly noticeable. But other than that, it would be considered mint condition. And these will cost you anywhere between $800 and $1,200, depending on the condition. And this is a top notch one, in my opinion, especially for 2004. Wow. Um, so there's the transmission of the vehicle that we're building. I, uh, it took me a couple months to come up with all these parts. I wanted to get it exactly what I wanted, and I think you should really do that. If you're if you're going to do a mod or build like this where you're putting parts together, get the ones you want so that the finished product is exactly as you you know had your mind set on. I think that's very important. We, I got, here is the engine. And the engine is, these are, this is a chrome mirror covered, uh, mirror pickguard. Sorry about all the tape and plastic, but I'm keeping it scratch free. And I kind of got everything removed from the screws, so I don't have to do that thing where you have to unscrew everything when you're all done to get the plastic off. It's so annoying. But these uh, pickups are from a 2020 made in Japan. The Fender is putting out the HM Strats, which stands for heavy metal. Kind of the 80s, mid-80s, I believe, they made these um, Stratocasters that were just mean. And these are like single coils on steroids right here. These are some really uh, metal-sounding output, but they still have that Fender magic to them. So these are really great-sounding pickups, nicely installed. And uh, we have Fender... I don't know if that comes through or not, but this is a genuine Fender 5-way switch. We have 250K CTS dish back potentiometers. I use an orange drop capacitor, and I always wire the tone of the bridge in the middle. Oh, I'm sorry, the bridge in the middle. When you're in this position or this position, this tone down here controls the bridge in the middle. And then this is your neck tone right here, and then the master volume. And then, very important, best $4 you'll ever spend on a guitar is a treble bleed on your volume pot. It really keeps the tones clean, and it doesn't muddy it up at all. I've saved so many guitars by installing this little capacitor on the two volume lugs. It just changes the, it really cleans up all the sounds. I can't explain how it does it, but it does. And they're very easy to install, so definitely look into that. Uh, for your own 
uh, purposes down the road. Okay, and then here's what I'm going to make some people mad because I'm putting a brand new JB Jr. in the bridge. Okay, but I'm not going to use 250 or 500k potentiometers. I'm going to stick with the 200, 250, and I've had no problem with it so far. And I like the cleaner sounds and the brighter sounds, and this works really well, especially with that tone control. So don't be afraid to do that. Don't don't worry about what people say. It sounds really good. Um, this was like huge drama. I uh, ordered this new from an uh, eBay seller, and he claims it's new. It gets to me, and it's all scratched up, and the wires are cut. I'm like, nope, sorry, bud. You know, took it, you're, you're taking this one back, and... So I skipped this. I skip all that. I'm just going to order it straight from uh, Sweetwater. And, you know, Captain Moore on me orders the wrong... I order a neck pickup like an idiot. So I get that in the mail. And I have to pay to ship that back. And I finally get the JB Junior Bridge like I originally intended to. And, you know, this is probably not going to work. So I brace myself for that. That's how my life goes. Okay. And like I said, we jumped out of the plane. So we might as well light ourselves on fire. And here's where I lit myself on fire. This is what we're going to use, the Vega trim in the uh, for my bridge and saddles. And these are, you can't, uh, you know, they're around 300 bucks after shipping, no matter where you buy them. You, don't even, you never find them used. They're never on sale. So these are great, outstanding tremolos. It was either going to be that or the Babix bridge, and I went with that one instead. Um, here is the chrome back plate, plastic on it still, and the star of the show for some people. The body is the most important for some. I am in love with these. These are the Fender Starcaster bodies, and before you get all, all snobby on me, this is a genuine Fender. It fits the neck perfectly. All the potentiometers fit perfectly. And there's a guy, you can Google him. You type his name in Google. It, I'll say it slow. His name is Edward Van Halen. And he apparently plays guitar. And uh, he says the, quote, holy grail of wood combinations for sound is basswood and maple. They are to touch each other. And they are the best sound. Sometimes he's talking about the maple cap. That could be on over a, a solid basswood body, I know, but still, that's a that is a full size, perfectly routed, perfectly cut, and the paint jobs are better than any I've ever seen. That you'll never, you won't get any better than that. Is it? I, that the camera doesn't really pick it up, but it's a very metallic, shiny paint job, and it's perfect on the back as well. Um, it's pretty cool. I got a. I got a, uh, so when this body came in, it did not have the micro tilt, but if you notice, this neck has the disc already in it. A lot of the made in Mexico ones and the U.S. Um, necks, other than the reissues, have this disc in there. So what I did is I got, it's called a Forstner bit, and it, you order these kits from Fender, but, uh, you basically drill this out and it sinks down flush in the wood and then there's a Allen little uh, grub screw that goes inside of here and uh, this fits right on top of that so there's your Allen keyhole for that and you can see the Vega trim obviously is on here and I have it all the the cavity shielded for uh, sound, so it's not going to have any squealing noises. Okay, and uh, I believe that's about it. Oh, and then I have the I'm going to be replacing these strap buttons with the Fender Affinity Infinity uh, locks. These are really cool. I got the buttons on top, and they look sharp. And then, uh, oh yeah. Last but not least, I got some screws. Um, I bought these, and these are not even much more expensive than the standard knobs, but they're real heavy, like a metal, knurled metal knob. And on top, 
How cool is that? I don't know if the abalone comes through, but these are abalone dots on the fingerboard. And then this will match on the uh, three potentiometers. It's going to be really nice. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to show you the finished product uh, when it's all said and done. And hopefully uh, it goes over as good as the last two did. And I think this is going to be at least... It's definitely the most expensive one, that's for sure. I don't know if money means anything, but we'll find out. Thanks for stopping by, guys.